What's up, good people? Welcome back to Izzy All The Time. Today, I'm gonna make for you shrimp fried rice at home. So here are the things you're gonna need for your shrimp fried rice. You're gonna need three and a half cups of cooked rice. You're gonna need um, shrimp that is pre-cooked. You're going to need two eggs, battered. You're gonna need scallions, about a tablespoon. And you're gonna need two tablespoons of white onion. Here we have soy sauce, sesame oil, oyster sauce, and some vegetable oil. So let's get started. Here is my wok heating up. I'm gonna add the vegetable oil to coat the bottom. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put the egg in. All right, so what I wanna do is go ahead and break up my egg into the oil. Okay, I wanna break up my egg into the oil and sort of get it into little pieces, just like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimp. Okay, we're gonna blend that in. Now to this also, we're gonna start adding our onions. All right, and we're gonna add our scallions. Now this is an option um, that I didn't show you over there as ingredients, but you can certainly put in peas and carrots, okay? About maybe two tablespoons or so. So we're gonna blend all of that together. We're gonna cook that up till it's all nice and tender. Now the shrimps are already pre-cooked, so we don't have to uh, cook them fully. We just wanna make sure that they're warmed up and sauteed in with all of the other things that are here. Now we're gonna start to add in those seasonings because that's really important for this rice. So let's do that now. So we're gonna get the sesame oil and I'm gonna put in maybe about a teaspoon and a half. We're gonna put in that oyster sauce, maybe about, uh, let's see, a teaspoon. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna add is the soy sauce, but the soy sauce is gonna come in when we add our rice. Okay, and also it is optional, but you can add pepper and salt. I will put some salt to this when I add the rice because the soy sauce is very salty, so you know you don't have to add additional salt if you are watching your you know blood pressure and so on like that. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now you don't have to use a wok. You can also use a regular pan, but you just gotta make sure it's one of those that can take a lot of heat. Okay, remember this is shrimp fried rice in your house. And it actually smells really good right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding our rice. Now, one thing that's important about um, rice, the rice is that it has to be sticky rice and it has to be chilled, okay? It's important that the rice is chilled. So you don't want it to turn into mush. So let's go ahead and start adding all those things, or mixing all these things together. Now I'm gonna start adding the soy sauce in. And believe it or not, guys, we're almost done. That's what's so cool about shrimp fried rice or any type of fried rice. You can literally get it done in like minutes and your family will be so happy that you did. All right, see how lovely it's coming together? Now we're gonna go ahead and get our soy sauce going. Look at that guys, beautiful. Shrimp fried rice at home guys. Ooh. Okay, let me get my soy sauce. So here I'm gonna put about maybe three or two, ta three tablespoons. 
There you go, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Tell me it doesn't look like something you ordered in the store. Of course it does. Now also guys, um, you can add these the little sprouts to this. I didn't have any, but you can put that in here for additional like vegetable. And my veggie friends, all you gotta do is to remove the shrimp and you can make yourselves fried rice using the same ingredients, okay? Guys, believe it or not, we're almost done. Look at that. It's beautiful, it smells so fragrant. And it's almost done. So it's very important that you keep mixing too, okay? So nothing gets stuck together. That's it guys, there's really not much to this. Your family is gonna be like, what, Ma, you made shrimp fried rice? Oh my goodness. I can't believe you did that. Cause the minute they see and smell it, they're gonna be like, mommy, you order Chinese food? <laughs> and they're gonna be so happy. And you know what guys, look, here you're probably, hmm, Let's see, we're gonna feed about maybe four people from here, okay? Now, if you had to order four orders of shrimp fried rice, like how much is that, right? And guess what, guys? You're certainly not spending the equivalent of that in what we just made. Okay, guys, I'll come back with the final look. And we're gonna do that mukbang. Okay guys, so we're all done with our shrimp fried rice at home. It came out so beautiful, it's so fragrant, it's fresh, it's your own in your house, amazing. So here we have my little guy Darius and he's gonna give us that mukbang, let's go. All right, I'm gonna start with the shrimp. Take that shrimp. Oh my God, that's so good, oh my God. Homemade Chinese food. I mean, what is that, right? Oh my gosh. I have to try the rice, so. Oh my God. That soy sauce, too. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like, okay? That's brilliant. Of course it is. Brilliant. Easy all the time, guys. <laughs> all right. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big like and subscribe. And Bye. don't forget to hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.